Hi, Diana. Hello. Hi. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. So how is the mother-daughter reunion going? Great. It's going awesome. It's so much fun. Yeah. Yeah, I guess our Fanola's first air date was yesterday, and I, I made a point of watching the show because mm -hmm. I was so excited to see it, and it's just so cute to see her with uh, little Emma as well. Her, her little I know, it was bright such face. a time warp. Yeah. Yes, isn't it? It, yeah. it's, it is. It's, yeah, for sure. What was that like for you, Fanola, to work? Because I kept thinking of, you know, when she, you, you were working with a little... Kimberly. One years ago. Yeah. Oh, it was exactly the same. You know, I mean, I, I, I must say I, I did sort of think that, you know, here was this little uh, five-year-old Brooklyn, her name is, and um, s starting out in the same way that uh, Kimberly did when she was seven. And I had all those, you know, the, the same sort of things to do with her. But, you know, I have to say, um, when I was working with Kimberly, uh, we were working in a different sort of system. It was mm -hmm. very improvised. It and was loose. Very loose. <laughs> and we just kind of used to talk around the plot and, you know, maybe every now and again dip our toe in the actual storyline and yeah. sort of, you know. I don't know. remember ever having like a mark. I don't yeah. remember having a mark. You know, the, nowadays your mark is you know, very you have important. To, yeah, you have yeah. to hit certain marks. Yeah. But um, I remember that the cameraman used to just follow us. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, literally that suddenly <laughs> you'd see somebody whoosh, switch it, like yeah. lifting up the skirts of the camera and trying to get across because yeah. Tristan, usually it was Tristan yes. I have to say, um, would be wandering <laughs> off him. towards the kitchen and you know, which had nothing to do with what we were yeah, doing. Yeah, he would just happen to get a drink in the middle of a scene. Yeah. yeah. And so it was much more loosey-goosey back mm -hmm. in back in the heyday. Mm -hmm. Can I ask, do you remember that the very first scene you two shot together? Or, no, or someone paper. asked us that. I don't. I remember my camera test. I remember my more first than anything. Scene. Um, you do with me. I remember the camera test too. Yeah, that was. That's really like prevalent in my mind. Oh, that was. It was a big deal. Um, Gloria Monty came downstairs and said, um, "I think I have a girl upstairs that can improvise with us. You two, which is myself and Tristan, we need to go upstairs right now." And I think it was sort of lunchtime or something. So we need to get this in before lunch. So we go upstairs, and there's this gorgeous little girl in the middle of the set and um, we go in and and we just started improvising with her like anything and she just we were throwing things at her and she just was talking away and <laughs> <laughs> and Tristan and I were like we were looking at each other over her head going this is it this is what we wanted we wanted somebody because the pair of us would you know never stick to anything we were given yeah and so we needed that was like the test too because I remember there were two other little girls it was like down to the three of us and we had done like the scene and they couldn't decide so it was like that was sort of like the tiebreaker if you will it was like can Kimberly keep up with Tristan and Fanola the crazy <laughs> yeah so I mean apparently I I did yeah you know and then it became keeping up with Christina and Jack and John yeah. and Riley and, and Sherry it just White went and, from there yeah and, uh, it was kind of chaotic back then but but a lot of fun and then, but I do remember something about the first scene. I think I was wearing a blonde wig, and oh, I used to go visit. Yeah. I I kept. I don't know. It's so strange. I kept <laughs> her secret. I didn't tell her, Robin, that I was her mother. And I I she called me Love L U V, and I remember going to some sort of cabin or some place where she was kept, and there yeah. was a bunk bed. Uh, it was almost like camp, you know, like a sort of um, like a summer camp. And I went to visit, and I had bl a blonde wig on, mm -hmm. so she wouldn't know who I was. And mm, that it's was coming back to me now. Right. I remember the blonde <laughs> wig. Yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. something like that. And I and um, you called me love, and yeah. So I don't really remember much about. We'd have to look that up. Yeah. Okay. You know, of all the scenes you guys have shot together over the the decades, what has <laughs> been your most favorite, or the one you always think of, oh, or? Gosh. The one I always think of. Well, the one I always. Well, the think one of. that we, yeah, the one we talk. We yeah. There's one that I think was equally memorable for both of us, and yeah. I don't know if that happens a lot. And that was during the Asian Quarter storyline when um, Robin was uh, hiding this these pearls in her doll's eyes, and everyone was looking for her, and she was kidnapped, and Anna finally saw her, and there was moments where we like ran. And, to each other's arms, you know, and we'd found each other. So we've sort of tried to, um, uh, I guess, not duplicate, but kind of emulate that moment over the years. Like yes. when I found that she was alive, we kind of did that again, like kind of 
did we the did, rushing yeah. to each other we did. kind of thing. They, yeah. they did it. It was when I, I was um, on All My Children, and Kimberly came out to, to play a scene where Robin sort of has a feeling about something and goes to, um, goes to this house where I'm actually living. And, um, and we open the door. And, and the production team, they slowed it down when, when we when Yeah, we they did it the same as we did it in yeah, it was 1980. Kind of Six, whatever it was. Whenever it yeah. was. So yeah. I've been given the wrap up, but I'm going to throw okay. two questions in. Okay. First, I have to ask there's more reunion coming to town. What was it like to have Emma and Tristan and the whole team back together? <laughs> that was fun. Um, yeah, it's really fun. Um, I, I never really got to work with Emma a lot, so that was cool to have her back. Yeah, it was nice. We, we just got to catch up. And Tristan is just the same. Like, oh, he's just always. He's the same. Like, I don't know. That makes any sense? Like you just see someone later on in life, and you're like, oh yeah, they're just the same. It's exactly the same. <laughs> I, I yeah. was in, a, in an interview. I said um, Tristan is like slipping on a well-worn old leather shoe. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's a better description. Yeah, that is of the so, same. Yeah. So this Valentine's week is all fun and games, but things are about to take a turn, and you know fans are really concerned and upset. And Kimberly, I really want to know how do you feel about the way Robin's exit is going to play out, and what can we expect? If you could just give us. Um, we, you can you can expect something really big to happen um, that affects a lot of the characters around Robin and in the rest of the show too. Um, so yeah, I mean you can expect some great drama, and I don't know how I feel about it yet because I'm still sort of in the thick of it. <laughs> but definitely yeah. stay stay tuned because there's going to be some interesting twists and turns. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's a big storyline, and I think that um, the fans are going to want to watch. Yes. Do you have a message for fans who are so concerned and hepped up right now? Hang in there final. and keep watching. Yeah. <laughs> Let right, us entertain thing. you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, I can't, I sort of can't wait to see how it plays out. I sort of don't want to see it. <laughs> oh, uh, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, ladies. Thanks, Diana. Thank you. Take care. Enjoy. Bye. Bye.